everybody, welcome back to Clean Eating Kitchen. I'm Carrie, and this is where I share real food recipes and tips to help you feel great. And today we are making one of my favorite recipes of all time. It is air fryer orange chicken. And it's a throwback to the old days when I used to eat fast food. This is actually a healthy version. We're going to cook the chicken in the air fryer so it gets a little bit of a nice coating. And then we're going to move over to the stove and we'll make the orange sauce. It's actually a really easy recipe and you are going to want to make it as soon as possible. It is so good. And this recipe is gluten-free and grain-free and dairy-free and it uses real food ingredients. So let me show you exactly how we're going to make it. So first I have about one and a quarter pound of chicken breast that I have cut into bite-sized pieces. And you really want to get the chicken into small bites so the coating gets completely covered. And what we have for the coating is just a quarter cup of arrowroot starch. An arrowroot is a grain-free alternative to cornstarch. So if you have any kind of grain sensitivities, you can just substitute arrowroot starch for cornstarch. And you can find arrowroot in the gluten-free section of most grocery stores. Now I actually have a teaspoon also in a bowl over on, by the stove that we're gonna use um, later when we make the sauce. And then I'm gonna toss it to coat the chicken with the starch. Now, if you don't have an air fryer, you can definitely make this recipe in the oven. What you would wanna do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and then what we would do is put the chicken on a baking sheet and just bake it until it's cooked through. But I like to use the air fryer because um, it's faster. Um, we're only gonna have to cook the chicken for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. And also the air fryer doesn't heat up the kitchen. So, okay, so it's pretty well coated. I'm just gonna show you here. And that coating is going to help mimic the deep fried orange chicken that we remember from our fast food days. So I have my air fryer here and I'm just gonna pull out the basket and we'll pour the chicken into the basket. And it's okay if there's extra starch that goes into the bottom, um, we'll just wipe that out later. And then we'll close the basket and turn it on to 400 degrees. So I set the time to 15 minutes. So we're gonna come back in 15 minutes and I'll show you how we make the sauce. Okay, so 15 minutes have passed and the chicken is done cooking, but I wanna tell you about the sauce really fast because what we're going to do is then take the sauce over to the stove top and we'll simmer it with a little bit of arrowroot starch and the chicken and it will thicken and make that yummy orange sauce that makes this dish, really. So what I did was I took three navel oranges and I juiced them, which made about three fourths of a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice. And you can use canned or jarred orange juice, but I really think freshly squeezed is best and it will be the highest in vitamin C, which is great for our immune systems. And then I added a fourth of a cup of coconut aminos. If you don't have coconut aminos, you could always use reduced sodium tamari, which is a gluten-free version of soy sauce. But um, if you don't eat soy, then you might wanna use coconut aminos. And it's coconut aminos is kind of salty like tamari or soy sauce, and it's a great alternative. And then I used one teaspoon of sesame oil, which is just adds really great kind of authentic Asian flavor to the sauce. I used two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. And if you don't have that ingredient, you can always just use a regular vinegar, it'll be fine. And then I used two tablespoons of maple syrup to add just a little bit of more sweetness to the orange sauce. Now, if you want to add even more umami flavor, you can add about a teaspoon of fish sauce, but I didn't have any with me today, so I just left it out. So here's what the sauce looks like. Of course, this is before it's thickened, and what we're going to do is move over to the stove top, and I'll take the chicken with us, and I'll show you how easy it is to finish off this dish. Okay, so, so to finish off our healthy air fryer orange chicken, I have a saucepan here. Uh, it's kind of like a mixture between a saucepan and a skillet, but we just need to make sure we have enough room in the pan for the sauce and the chicken. So I'm going to add the, the um, orange sauce ingredients here. 
and then we are going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of the arrowroot starch. And again, you can use cornstarch if you don't have arrowroot. So as the sauce starts to thicken, I'm going to add the chicken so it gets completely coated with the sauce. And okay, now that the sauce has come to a simmer, we're gonna turn the heat off and as it even cools down a little bit, it'll get even thicker. And I just made some rice, so I'm gonna grab a bowl and then we'll serve the orange chicken over some rice. Mm -hmm. The flavor of this is amazing. And I really think that the freshly squeezed orange juice makes all the difference. So I would highly encourage you to use fresh oranges. And I've created a playlist of my other favorite gluten-free air fryer recipes. So check that out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.